Sioux Falls man faces a hefty bond tonight in connection to a kidnapping case. 59-year-old Kermit Lewis is accused of holding a woman captive in his apartment for several days. Kelly Lands Kelly Volk has been following the story all day. She joins us now with a closer look at the accusations. Kelly. Yeah, good evening, Don. Uh, Sioux Falls police say the two met at a bar and ended up at Lewis's apartment early Saturday morning. The woman told police he wouldn't let her leave for several days. She also says she, she was sexually assaulted and beaten. He eventually let her go, and she went to the police yesterday morning. The claims are shocking for a woman who lives in Lewis's neighborhood. Police placed 59-year-old Kermit Lewis in handcuffs Thursday evening. Friday night, neighbor Amanda Zimmerman is still in shock. And I honestly could never believe that that would happen, just knowing him. The SWAT team was called in because police received information that Lewis may have had access to a gun and that he may have been using drugs. Um, inside the apartment, there was no guns, no drugs that were found. But Lewis did have to appear in court today on kidnapping and assault charges. In court, a prosecutor with the state's attorney's office said Lewis beat the woman with a brush and rigged the front door with a deadbolt that kept the woman from leaving. A public defender said Lewis adamantly denies the allegations made against him. The judge called the allegations extremely serious and set bond at $100,000 cash, down from $250,000 requested by the state. Meanwhile, Zimmerman will wait to hear what comes next in this case. You know, I'd like to see how the story unfolds more and see what more I learned because it's just so hard for me to grasp that something like this would happen so close. Lewis has been in and out of jail and prison for almost four decades. A good portion of his criminal history is in Colorado, where he did once face a kidnapping charge. In 2015, he pleaded not guilty to a false imprisonment charge in South Dakota, which was later dismissed. Thank you, Kelly.